you know those, those guys last year really they worked and some of those guys that went you know we got some guys coming back they know what it's they know what it took last year and they're working hard you know we, we got some returners and good kids coming back that are returning and and they're really working We're the defending champs, but we will be the underdog in our first two games. Osceola is rated number seven, and Tri-County is rated number three in D1. Uh, we're not rated at all. So. We had we had a camp earlier this summer and like oh my gosh last time we were on the field we'd had three months of practice and everybody was peaking and we had to start completely over and like oh I mean we just <laughs> yeah it was a great back then in November and now it's yeah we're starting over again it was kind of an interesting you know Kale is a great player and did a lot for us and now this year he's switching into quarterback you know so it's, it's kind of new for him where he did a lot of it last year but you know, where he's the guy at quarterback you know that's a, a challenge for him well last year once a week i'd play quarterback just to practice in case riley would get hurt so it's not completely new but it's different and noel was real solid noel guinness you know, holden stengel played a ton of defense, but he really didn't play on offense. So that's a challenge for him. John Christensen played a ton on offense, but really didn't play a whole lot on defense. So that's a challenge for him. But that's basically the four guys that, that played a lot. They got to play in that final game too. So they, but they did see some playing time last year. Now, some of these, the, the younger kids coming up, need to learn from them and feed off them and hopefully they'll kind of see some of the success that the others have had and I mean it's just, it's just kind of a learning process for those younger guys to see the work that they have to put in to actually get to that level of play. We're the defending champs and the first two games we will be the underdogs so we, we really got our work cut out for us. And we got Lawrence Nelson and Sacred Heart. The Sacred Heart's <laughs> rated number two, so. To say it's a challenge is an understatement. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very tough schedule it, for it us. Will, it will test you for the one game of, at a time mentality, I'm sure, right? It'll be easy to do. <laughs> yeah, because don't, yeah.